Hey guys, once again, welcome. It's Tack Room Devotional. I'm Keith Brown. We started a study this week from Philippians chapter 3, verse 13 and 14. And it, the title is, Stay Focused, Don't Look Back. Let me read the, the passage. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do. I, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead, I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call in Christ Jesus. Now, Again, he says, but one thing I do, and I explained this to you the last couple days, is that um, he sees these three things as one. In other words, first thing he does is forget those things past, and then he says, I reach forward to the things that are ahead, and then finally I press towards the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Paul sees these things all as one thing. These are all the same. You need to do them all at one time. But we're focused this week on that one part that says forgetting those things past. But again, you can't exclude them from the other things, and I'll show you why. And I also promised you yesterday I was going to do a, a show you a, a scripture. I quoted it yesterday. We'll get to it here in a minute. We talked yesterday about Lot's wife and about Peter. And uh, one thing I wanted to do is, is I didn't complete that thought on L Lot's wife because we just looked at the Old Testament, but it's also spoken by Jesus about uh, Lot's wife. Let, let me show you. It comes from Luke chapter 17, starting with verse 32. And as it was in the days of Noah, so it will also in the days of the Son of, God, of Man. They ate, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise, as it was also in the days of Lot. Watch. They ate, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built, but on the day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from the heaven and destroyed them all. Even so will it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. In other words, we're going about our business, we're getting married, giving one another in marriage, we're buying and we're selling, we're doing all this stuff, totally oblivious to the thing that's most important in our life, and that is the return of Jesus Christ. Many times, the things in our past, the things that we're doing right now, we just get tied up. Traditions of men, um, old things that we do, the, the, the things that just distract us from staying focused on the kingdom of God. Uh, and, and this world is loaded with things that can do that. You know, our horses and our ranches and our work and our kids and everything else. And yet we just go about our business and then the warning comes just like with Lot, hey, get out of the city and don't look back. And what do we do? We ignore the, the, uh, the warning. We don't get out of the city. We continue to look back. And we continue to live our lives that way. We need to change. And so here it is, uh, and it goes on to say, In that day, he who is on the housetop and his goods are in the house, let him not come down to take them away. But likewise, the one who is in the field, let him not turn back. Remember Lot's wife. And here's Jesus saying, remember Lot's wife. Whoever seeks to save his life will lose it. Whoever loses his life will preserve it. I tell you, in that night, there will be two men in, in one bed. The one will be taken, the other will be left. Two women will be grinding, the, the one will be taken, the other left. Two men will be in the field, the one will be taken, the other left. Uh, do you understand? In other words, it's saying that... The one that's aware, the one that is is doing what our, our, our reference scripture is talking about, the one that is is forgetting those things in the past, not a tied to, to the things of this world, and are reaching forward and pressing towards that goal uh, of the prize, of, of, of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. When we're doing those things, we're aware of what's coming, and we're preparing ourselves for that. Amen. Um, we're not distracted by the things of this earth. Now the scripture that I was talking about yesterday comes from Luke chapter 9 verse 62 and it says, Jesus said to them, no one having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. Whew. See what I mean? If, if we put our hand to the plow, if we get saved and we put our hand to the plow, but we keep going, well what about this and what about that? Um, uh, what about the stocks? Or what about the, the government? Uh, what about my horses? What about my ranch? How am I going to pay my bills? And we're so focused on that that we're not preparing ourselves for Christ's return. Then when he shows up, what are we going to do? 
when the eastern skies split, are we going to be the one that says, well, Jesus, I'd like to come, but what about my horses and what about my ranch? See, you and I need to put our hand to the plowshare. We need to look straight ahead, keep our rows straight, and just get her done. Quit being like some of the Texans who say, I'm fixing to. No, we don't need to fix to. We need to get her done. Amen. Hey, listen, Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.